Hi Disney friends, welcome back, it's Megan. I am doing, this is the part two of our um, Disney haul. Um, the last video I did was all from the Disney Character Warehouse. This is stuff that we got at Target, we got at Universal, we got at um, Disney, World of Disney, kind of just everywhere and this stuff we did pay full price, and then I am going to show you some of the pins that I traded for. Just some different ones, um, just because they're fun to look at. So I think I'm actually going to start with those pins, and then I'll go into the stuff that we actually purchased. Um, some of these aren't going to make sense, but I've been doing pin trading for, oh, every time I've gone. I've gone four times now. And um, the thing that made me sad about this trip with COVID is that it's really limited. It used to be every cast member would have like seven pins on their little hip and then you would just look. Um, in um, like Magic Kingdom, for example, they would have one like in every land, like one. Animal Kingdom was the same way. And then we didn't really pin trade a whole lot in Hollywood Studios or Epcot. And then Disney Springs had nothing. Um, I think Epcot had some, but they were like limited to times. So I'm going to just grab, um, I've actually, I had a couple of these to start with. They are, um, pins directly that come from cast members. If they have that little Mickey, you see that, that is a pin that comes from a cast member. These are princesses, but they're like stained glass. So that's Ariel. This is Belle, and you can see like the stained glass. And then I think this is Jasmine. I got a couple of these. I thought these were so cute. They are the princesses on the little teacups. So there's Aurora. And here is Belle on the little teacup. As you can see, they have the little mickey mouse on there as well so those were cool um i found uh marie is my favorite so i found a little marie pin which was really cute um i found this one which i was like oh my gosh now i know i didn't go to walt disney or disneyland but i traded for this i mean it's just rainbow castle and i thought that was so pretty so i got that um, I actually ended up getting, this kind of is like a comic, but this is, oh God, I'm a bad Disney fan. He's the guy from Hunchback of Notre Dame and he's the bad guy. God, that's going to bother me. Um, but it's him and he's saying, mark my words, you will pay for this insolence. Um, God, that's going to bother me. But you know who I'm talking about. Okay, pin. Um, this is actually part of a mystery set that you can buy. But Lion King is a classic, so I got Simba. Um, these are actually, we've been collecting these for a couple years now, too. And um, they are just, I think they're from Tokyo Disneyland but they're square and they're Toy Story. And we, all we needed were the alien, Jesse and Rex, and then we'd be done. Well, I found the alien. See, it's just a square and then you can see like the little top. And we found Jesse on our last day. I was super excited. So all we need now is Rex, like wherever you may be, I need that. And then we actually also have two of this set that I almost traded away, which I'm glad I did not. It's like the fab, it's not the fab five because Daisy's in it, but the six main characters, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, and they're in like beach wear. And I didn't realize this was a set. I just thought this was a cool pin of Goofy like at the beach, but it's actually part of the set. So I got Goofy and I actually found Mickey too. And I didn't even mean it. And I was like, Perfect. So there's only like a couple of those I need too. We like to try and complete um, sets if we can. Not 
we, I mean, it's not possible all the time, but if we can, it kind of gives you like something to search for. Um, this was a pin I found at Animal Kingdom and I just thought it was really, really pretty. Cinderella carriage, of course. And then um, I found this one, which I just thought was neat. This is Nightmare or Jack Skellington. I don't have a whole lot of him, but thought that was cool. And then we actually ended up getting a couple of these. These are more of those Mickey Mouse ones. Um, and it's uh, from Alice in Wonderland, the cards. So we ended up getting the heart. And then we ended up getting, sorry, this is my, um, this is the, Queen of Hearts, and then we ended up getting the diamond. So we would just need the club and the spades, which like I said, when you're so limited, it's hard to find that stuff. So it was a little disappointing we couldn't complete more sets, but I just have fun doing it. If you're like at the end of the day and you're just tired, it's one of those things that is just fun to do. Um, another thing we always do, which I don't have all of them here, but I'll show you this year's that we got. They have these ID tags, and Vince has gotten one every year that we've gone to Disney World. I don't know if Disneyland does it, um, but we do is we get the ID tag. We try to get the one with the date on it, not always possible, but we were at Soren, so we ended up getting the Soren ID tag, and then he put his name, I know it's backwards, and the date, and then I didn't get one on our honeymoon, but I got one the last time we went, and I got one this time, and it's the Epcot mickey and then it has my name and the date as well my husband got a t-shirt too but i think it's in the wash um i got this from target i just thought this was so cute that i know it's not like classic um disney stuff but still super cute it just says mickey and i like that it had the black and i actually ended wear ended up wearing this one to magic kingdom um, but super soft and that's mainly why I wore it because it was really really comfortable and I thought it was really really cute So I ended up getting that um, We talked about patches these ones I paid full price for um, But look at them. I mean come on. So it says Disney World is the pendant. I needed a castle I've been looking for a castle um, Small World a lot of people hate Small World. I mean, it's not my favorite, but I love this like all of this. And then the most magical place on earth. And I was like, I need it. So I, I bought that for my jacket. Um, this was a pin set that was near and dear to my heart. I love the Dapper Dans. Probably my favorite part of Disney. Honestly, Main Street and the Dapper Dans. Like I love it. And look what pin set they had. So it's Goofy, Mickey, Donald, and Pluto, and they're the Dapper Dans. I was like, oh, that's so perfect. So we ended up getting that set. And then um, also for those who don't know, Up is like my movie. I love Up, I love balloons, I love Mickey balloons. I just love everything about it. So they had an Up pin set. And I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here. So this is like, the house, Russell, Carl, and Kevin. This is like Kevin and her babies. I thought that was so cute. Ellie and working at the zoo. And then this is Carl and Russell running away from the blimp. But like, they're just so colorful. And if I'm gonna say that I collect certain pins, Up would definitely be up there, okay? Those ones are just really cool. Um, let me see what else I got here. Oh, okay. Um, so my sister-in-law Venmoed us some money to get like one mystery pin pack. And of course I couldn't just get one. I got four. Um, I ended up getting three at the airport because we were there. Our flight was delayed and I was like, I was like, well, I'm here. So I might as well. But this is the set that was there. Um, it's called Disney Hugs. So you can get Chip and Dale, Mickey, Pluto. Lilo and Stitch, Jasmine and Raja, um, Elsa and Anna, Baymax, Dumbo, Jesse and Woody. No, 
Jesse and Bullseye, Christopher Robin and Pooh, and then Pinocchio and Geppetto. Um, that was probably the coolest like collectible like mystery pin pack. And I actually only ended up getting one double, which I was pretty happy about. But we ended up getting Jasmine and Raja. And then I got Pinocchio and Geppetto. I ended up, and these pins, I mean, everyone says this, oh, these pins are such good quality and they're so big. But if you're gonna buy a pin, I want it to be a nice size, right? Like you want it to be able to look at it. So this is um, Elsa and Anna hugging. Um, Mickey and Pluto, I love it, with the house. Um, Christopher Robin and Pooh which is so cute. Um, and then I got Mama Jumbo and Dumbo. I love elephants, so that's so cute. And then I got Jesse and Bullseye. But they're just different and they were big and I just really liked them. So I got that. Um, those were a full price, um, but we ended up getting those. So this was the first time we'd been to Star Wars. Um, Galaxy's Edge since they opened in Hollywood Studios so of course we had to get a Star Wars bin um, so it's a Star Wars Galaxy Edge and then it slides and then it says Bright Suns and then it just has like the spires and stuff but I just thought that was neat um, I had to get a 2021 pin um, now that I've gotten kind of into the pin thing when we go, since we don't get to go all the time, like I wanna get a pin for the year that we go. If there's like a special festival, I wanna get that pin, time of year, you know, that kind of stuff. Not gonna lie, I was not impressed with the 2021 pins. Like the characters, I was like, like Stitch is not my favorite. Um, Jack Skellington, not my favorite. Kermit the Frog, not my favorite. So I got poo because who doesn't love a squishy little bear, okay? And it's kind of weird, like it's all like square and stuff, but I, th so that was all I had. So 2021 pin, um, we went to Flower and Garden at Epcot. So I ended up getting a Flower and Garden pin. Um, the one thing I love about Flower and Garden is their topiaries. Love them, they are so different and cool. And they have, um, they're different every year, I guess. But I ended up getting goofy as a topiary if you can see and he's like scooping vegetables but i just thought that was really cute so i did not get this for myself i got it for my sister-in-laws but they told me to buy it so i'm going to show you it's a tumbler it's a starbucks tumbler i almost got one but the last thing i need is a cup and you're, you're gonna understand why i didn't um but you can see it has like the fireworks, it has um, Tower of Terror, it has Epcot, it has Animal Kingdom, Tree of Life, it has the castle, it has Tinkerbell, like just really, really cool. So I got two of those for two of my sister-in-laws. And then, okay, I'm gonna admit it, I'm a bad Disney fan, but this is some special art that I don't know the name of. And they came out with a collection and one of my sister-in-laws wanted this cup. So I was a good sister-in-law and bought it for her. Um, but the outside is really cool. So it's like animated just differently. You can see like um, Orange Bird and the Matterhorn and Snow White and the teacups and Jungle Cruise and Figment and the castle. And this is like Disneyland, I feel like, and Disney World. But I think this is probably more Expedition Everest than the Matterhorn. Um, just everything. Epcot. See, there's, uh, maybe it is the Matterhorn because there's Toad. Um, just really cool. It's just a water bottle. You, I think you do that to drink. I don't know. She'll figure it out. But I just thought that, I mean, good choice because this is very, very cute. Couple free things also that we got. So the reason we went to Disney was to celebrate my husband graduating college. And he turned 30 in January and got COVID on his birthday. So we celebrated his birthday too, cause we couldn't do anything. Um, but they give you these for free. If you go up to like any store, they have them like right away in their drawer. 
So I ended up getting two and then he got a couple as well. And then what I like to do is I like to turn them into magnets and then put them on the fridge. Cool. So we're Disney Visa card members and every year they come out with a pin. But what stinks is when you don't live at Disney, you don't get to, you can order the pin, but you're gonna spend $7 to ship it. And it's just like, ah, why? Like, I don't wanna spend the shipping. And so we were there and they had it. It's, um, this is this year's, it's Minnie Mouse with her house. And then it says Disney rewards on the bottom. So I ended up getting that. Um, so I'm gonna show you now why I did not get that Starbucks cup. Long story short, um, in 2019, Starbucks came out with these mugs called the Been There series, and they released them in Disneyland and Disney World. Well, we had gone to Disneyland about a week after they came out, so I actually have Disneyland and California Adventure, and I said, next time we go, I wanna get these cups. So I got one for every park. So I'm gonna show you every one. So this will take a little bit of time, but this is, actually, we're gonna go like this. This is Animal Kingdom. You can see Expedition Everest. This is like a popular sign. Lions, this is very animal-based. Dinosaur, uh, Tree of Life. Some language I don't understand. Truly Alive with Adventure. Kali River Rapids. This is from Festival of the Lion King, which is not currently showing, which is sad. Um, more animals, um, the safari, um, like I said, dinosaur. Um, I'm surprised there's no Pandora on this thing now that I'm looking at it. But um, I like that it's green, like for Animal Kingdom, you know, like the earth and stuff like that. So that is the Animal Kingdom one. This is the Magic Kingdom one. So you'll see teacup. What is that? That's the Astro Orbiter, Mickey Ice Cream, Magic Kingdom, <sighs> Small World, Tomorrowland, Speedway, um, Mickey Hat Castle, T um, Tiki Birds, Peter Pan, Splash Mountain Pirates, Train. And then it says the most magical place on earth has Haunted Mansion. Um, Tangled for the Tangled Bathrooms, sorry, Jungle Cruise, Dole Whip, and Fireworks. This one's probably my favorite because Magic Kingdom is the love of my life. This is Hollywood Studios. I like that they're different colors so then like you know. So this is Hollywood Studios has Rock and Roller Coaster, which I chickened out of, which now I regret. It is what it is. Star Wars. Toy Story Land has the ball. Beauty and the Beast, because normally they have a show, which they're not airing now. Tower of Terror, which I hate with all my fiber of my being. Um, again, more Star Wars. It says, play a starring role in your own story. Has Nessie the Dinosaur. Midway Mania. This is a tower there. Um, Fantasmic is normally there, which it was not this time which is really sad. Um, and then just more Toy Story stuff, but really, really cool. And the last one is Epcot. Epcot has Living with the Land. This is probably the park I know least about, so if I screw this up, I apologize. Monorail, Epcot Ball, Spaceship Earth. Um, and then it's around the world. So you got Eiffel Tower, Figment, Norway, this is probably Mission Space. The 21st century begins today. World Showcase Lagoon. That's the water in between the World Showcase. Um, this, I want to say, is Illuminations, which they're not having right now. And they're not doing it anymore at all. They're going to have a new one whenever we can have night shows. Um, Mexico Pavilion. And then we have Japan. But I like how this is um, purple and yellow for figment. This is probably the biggest thing we bought. Hello. All right. So of course we went to Star Wars land and my husband, um, and this was my husband and I's first time. 
and you can build a lightsaber. You can also buy them pre-made, I guess, but how fun is that? So um, it's $200 to do this. We had to have a reservation. We didn't even think we would get in. So if you're like really, really wanting to do a lightsaber, I would go like first thing in the morning and go um, just to um, make sure that you can get in if that's like a huge priority, okay? We are also concerned because we were like, oh, this is going to be like some cheap thing. But no, it comes with the case. It comes like it's all together. Um, but I don't want to poke anything. This is it. You get There's like four different handles. I'm really bad at Star Wars. Okay. I have seen the, all the movies though. So I kind of know what I'm talking about. Not really though. Don't judge me. There was like protector, defender, there was like two other ones, okay? Um, so you, and it was like, they were different colors. So he picked the one, I think it's protector, defender. This is like a gold and a bronze. And then you get to pick, you get to personalize this handle however you want. Um, but the cool thing is you get to pick your color and they have blue, green, violet, and red. And my husband chose blue, but you can hear it. And I think it kind of makes noise. But it's really heavy. It's really like heavy and really good quality. Um, and fun fact, if you do end up doing this, it's a carry-on, but what we ended up doing was taking the handle out and putting it in our luggage, and then we just carried around the actual, like, saber part of it. Um, but the airplanes will let you take it on as a carry-on. Just a fun fact, because I didn't really, I didn't really know that at the time. So when you do that experience, they give you a pin as part of the experience, it's like the lightsaber. So that'll go on our board, which is really cool. Um, one other thing for Disney that I wanted to show you was, this is a hidden thing. We found it on TikTok probably three days beforehand. And my husband was all about it. He was like, that is so cool. When you go to Star Wars Galaxy Edge, if you go to the Droid Depot, behind the counter, they have these things. They're metal and they're called Spiras, I think. And what this is, is this is a gift card. So when you initially get this, you have to put $100 on it, but it works at all the Disney parks. And as you can see, there is a barcode on the back. Um, we actually have Disney reward points. So we actually put our $100 on this card and then we just use that. Um, but then this is like a collectible piece. And then like, if we go back, we don't have to put $100 on it again. You just have to like reload it with like 15, they said. You just have to do $100 like as the initial. Um, but it says Star Wars Galaxy Edge on it and then it has language I don't understand, but I'll do like a little bit of a close up for you Star Wars people. I just thought that was really interesting. Like, a, and it's like a little collectible. He probably will keep that at his office. Just as like a little token thing. Okay, so the next thing that we got was, um, I have a lot of Pandora charms, and we like to get one every time we go, and my husband likes to spoil me, so um, they just released, they have a lot of new stuff, but this is probably the coolest thing they had. I have other charms on here, but this is the charm that he ended up getting, not that one this one so it's a castle and then you can see it has like the pixie dust swirl on it it's like this really pretty rose gold but one of the coolest things was this new bracelet they came out with um normally pandora's is like a clasp and it's really hard to do by yourself this um you don't have to have like a measurement. Normally you have to buy a Pandora bracelet like with measurements. This you do not. 
um, it just tightens and you can see it's like a Mickey Mouse. So it has like a silicone in the middle, okay? And then you put it on and then to tighten, you just pull down and that's it. But how cool is that, you know? You, um, much more easy to put on um, by yourself. And she made a good point, like, if you want to have like a Disney Parks bracelet and then just like a generic Disney bracelet, you know, you have a lot of options. So I wore that the whole time. Um, the only thing is if you're not into dangly stuff with your Pandoras, that's not going to be for you. I have a lot of other danglies, so it didn't bother me much, but just an FYI. Okay. Okay. Believe it or not, I think that's all the Disney stuff. I am going to show you a couple of the Harry Potter stuff we ended up getting. Um, one of the things isn't here. It's, um, I'll tell you about that first. It's a, my husband got it for his office. He's really big into Harry Potter. It's a desktop broom. I think he got the Nimbus 2000 and one just as like a pretty conversation piece. Um, and he's real, like I said, he's really into Harry Potter. So that'll look really good in his office. Um, so we got that. Um, we had to get some fizzing Wisbies. If you've ever had these, they're like chocolate, but they fizz in your mouth. They're so fun. I would have got some chocolate frogs, but these are better. And chocolate frog is really like, like they're huge and messy. It was summer or it was like 90 degrees when we were there. So we got these like at the very end and they didn't melt. So I'm pretty happy about that. We were looking at ornaments and they have all the house ornaments and we were like, yeah, that's great. Um, we actually have a Harry Potter tree we put up for Halloween. We just did that last year for the first time and it was 10 out of 10 in my personal opinion. But this ornament I just thought was so cool. It's um, the chocolate frog, but it's like the card and then he like moves and it's Albus Dumbledore They had different ones, but I was like then you don't see that every day Like let's do it. So we ended up getting that And the last thing Of this huge haul good lord they've universal and then they also have um Islands of Adventure. This I got over at the Universal side in Diagon Alley and it's Harry Potter themed, but I didn't think it was like super Harry Potter. Okay. So I got it at the joke shop, but it's like the Weasley emblem. Like how cool. Like it's super fun colors. It's really comfortable. Um, I loved it. That is pretty much my whole haul. Holy cannoli. We got a lot, we got a lot of pins, different things. So um, thank you all for watching. If you wanna get more Disney content, I'm gonna probably do another pin unboxing here soon. I ordered some new pins, um, but just subscribe if you want some Disney magic in your life. Um, and give me a like if you like this video, but I hope you all have a magical day. Love you guys.